Oh, you couldn't. You know what? This will be better for me than a, for, than a grapefruit anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I still have. You That's ever about heard my of, size too. Have so you we're heard good. of that thing? What? Uh, no. No. Yeah. No. I but I've stuck it in some weird things too. Well, so. <laughs> in the movie, I, in the, your yeah. character in the movie, yeah. gets it caught in a beach chair. In a beach chair. Yeah. 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 Was yeah. that in the script? Like, do you know that that's going to be part of it when you audition or yes, whatever? Yes, Jimmy. You did. You read the whole script? Or you I read gonna... the whole script. I okay. know all my parts. Um, yeah. They they um, they told me that that was going to happen, and I'm. Shocked that it actually did. Oh, really? Yeah. Why were you shocked that it actually did? Well, I, I, I just imagine at some point someone would go, you know what? Maybe this is a little too insane for Baywatch. <laughs> but yeah, we got through. The yeah, whole they thing. didn't have anything like that on the television series. No. As far as I know, David Hasselhoff never got his private parts caught in a beach chair. No. Yeah. No. no. And probably for the best, the international audience would have been confused. Well, they're about to be really confused. You, uh, by the way, uh, the Book of Mormon, which was a huge, it still is a huge hit on Broadway. Oh, yeah. How you? What's your big break, right? Yeah. And replacing Josh Gad, who really distinguished himself in that show. I know. I know. Must have been. I would. Terrifying. Yeah, bad, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you played that role in the touring company. I played the role role as a standby in the touring company. And then about five months in, um, the producers came to a couple shows that I did, and they sort of just plucked me up and put me on Broadway. Wow. Yeah. And did you feel pressure to do it the way Josh did it, or did you do it differently? The most amount of pressure you could ever imagine, right. Jimmy. Right, yeah. Um, but, uh, but I, I, you know, you end up finding your own thing, and it turns out to be your own version pretty quick. And, and do you kind of get in there and you're extra nice to everyone because you want them to like you personally better than they like Josh? A thousand, yeah, a yeah, thousand right. percent. You have to yeah. work it on both sides, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did Matt and Trey, uh, were they the producers, the creators of yeah. South Park? And, or are they the ones that saw you and, and put you on? You know, I'm going to go with yes. You're going to go with yes? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, but they didn't actually. Um, I'm gonna go with yes. Okay, you're gonna go with yeah. yes. All right. Uh, and I, you know, I, I'm a huge fan of basketball, so that was just a really nice. <laughs> the movie basketball yeah. that they made when they were like 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right. I mean, that was like, I think that that was a huge part of my childhood. Of all the things they've done, that's the thing you pick from their careers is basketball. Yeah. Really? <laughs> did you tell them that? Yeah. You did. I and. Did. I told them in like letters the night, the opening night in Denver. I wrote them both really nice letters that oh. said like, you know, this is the first professional thing that I'm doing. I I'm so uh, uh, amazed that I'm able to work with you two, your geniuses. P.S. I love basketball. I see. Yeah. And they probably thought you were being were joking, right? When they when they got those letters. I hope not. I you was being 100% yeah. <laughs> serious. They may be learning this just right now for the yeah. very first yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.